We take pride in producing quality bottled water dispensers. That's why we're here to help on the rare occasion when something goes wrong. Please note that you should never remove the top cover of your dispenser. It is attached with a precision seal gasket and removing it can cause leaks and will void your warranty. We'll walk you through troubleshooting your top loading dispenser if the water is not getting cold. All you need is a few minutes and a cup or pitcher. First, turn off any and all switches and unplug the dispenser. Next, dispense about four cups of water from the cold tap. Your dispenser should begin to refill itself. Wait about 30 seconds, then plug the unit back in and turn the cold switch back on if your unit has one. If your dispenser also provides hot water, leave the red switch turned off. Now that the cold switch is back on, we're going to check to see if the compressor is running. For dispensers equipped with LED indicators, check the cold indicator light. If the light is not on, try dispensing two more cups of water. If the light still does not come on, contact our customer care team for further assistance. If the light is on or your dispenser doesn't have this feature, check to see if you hear the compressor running. It should sound like a small refrigerator. If the compressor isn't running, turn the switch back off. Wait 30 seconds, then turn it back on. If the compressor remains silent, contact customer care. If the compressor is running, we'll want to give the dispenser a chance to cool the water. Allow the unit to run for about an hour without being used. Now that an hour has passed, check to see if the water has gotten cold. If the water still isn't cold, please contact our customer care team for further assistance. If the water's cold, turn the hot switch back on and begin to use your dispenser as normal. If the cold water gradually begins to get warm after you've turned on the hot switch, we'll need to check your baffle as it may be out of place. First, turn off both switches and unplug the unit. Next, carefully remove the bottle. Remove the leak guard by gripping the handle. If you have this type of receptacle, turn it counterclockwise and lift. Before assessing the reservoir, you will want to wash your hands. Look down into your reservoir and check the baffle. If it's out of place, the hot and cold water will be mixing, preventing the water from getting as cold as designed. Now, carefully reseat the baffle, lining up the plastic shaft with the small metal hole at the bottom of the reservoir. Push down firmly. Now put the receptacle back on. Go ahead and place the bottle back on as well. Plug the dispenser back in and turn your switches back on. Your water should be cold again in about an hour. We hope that this video has been helpful in diagnosing and resolving your issue. Should you ever require any further assistance, please contact our customer care team to speak with a knowledgeable representative.